Hello and welcome. It's June back again. I um, showed this card on my YouTube channel yesterday as well as my blog. Every Wednesday we do a card freebie and this is the one that um, someone will win on Saturday. I did say I was uh, going to do a video on how I made that and I have. Um, and just briefly, this is the three tier card. So I'm going to show you um, what I did to achieve this. Firstly, you need a piece of cardstock that measures 11 and a half inch, <coughs> sorry, 11 and a half inches by five and a half inches. And when you have that cut, what you then need to do is score this at a quarter inch, three and three quarter inches, and seven and a quarter. When you've scored those, turn the card round and at the quarter inch again, score from the top right to the last score line where you've scored at seven and a quarter. So it's quarter of an inch and score to there. Then when you've done that, this quarter inch here, you need to cut that. We don't need that. So that needs to be cut right to that score line. And what you will have then actually I'll show you this way your card will then look like this with a quarter inch showing there and that's the quarter inch cut off You also need another piece of card measuring two and three quarter inches by four and a quarter because we need this as our first um, first fold, the front of the card. Now I've already glued mine onto this piece. So your card is now looking like this, the base card. And with the quarter inch panel, and I've done it this way so you can uh, see it better. This is the quarter inch fold and you're going to glue the smaller panel two and three quarters by four and a quarter. You're gluing that onto there. I would glue this onto the top and have that fold inside rather than on the front but it's your choice what you do. And also before I would glue that onto that quarter inch, this is an inch you're going to cut off. So I would remove that first before I put the panel on. The other thing I've done as well is, this is a three tier fold. So that's one, two, three. But if you don't put some glue on there or tape, that's going to flap about. So you want to put glue or tape around that so it will adhere to that. And then we have the three tier base card ready to decorate. This part is entirely up to you how you do decorate it. What I've done is I try to um, reduce the layers by an eighth of an inch. It doesn't always work that way, but that I do start with that aim in mind. So with this one, it's four inches by five and one eighth. This is three and one eighth by five. And this is 
two and three quarters by four and one eighth. So we have the card looking like that now. And then I put a, a top panel on in white and just go down one eighth of an inch. And what the card then looks like is like this. So we now have our three tier. I haven't glued that yet, but I will. Now if I was, um, well, depending on how you want to decorate this, if you want to stamp uh, or anything intricate, I would always do it before I adhere it to the base card. I've only done this um, as a demonstration. So what I have done to the complete card is scored um, this top panel on my um, scoring board. I've added the silver ribbon and three pearls there, three pearls there. Embossed another white panel and put it on there. I will be doing a panel of the pale lilac and the white on the inside. I'll leave that plain. And on this one, I've used the same embossing folder and it has a cutout square in the middle. So I've stamped the With Love and it, the stamp does have that little heart. So I've just coloured that in. And again, I'll do the pale lilac and white on that side. And that is your finished three tier card. And again, yesterday's uh, was decorated with a flower theme on the first card and the second um, first the uh, the Nouveau Crystal drops in navy and this um, is a pinky peach and baby blue I think yeah, that one is I mightn't have the, the right name there but I think it's such a, a sweet card and you can do all different kinds of uh, ways to decorate it you know make it for a male or a young girl a young boy it's your choice so thank you um and i'll see you at the next video if you haven't subscribed please do and then you'll be notified of uh, new videos i do try to do several per week so until the next time bye